Hi everyone, you're listening to Spotlight on WTBQ 1110 AM, 93.5 FM, and WTBQ.com. In the spotlight today, we have our friend Michael Lombardi on the phone. Hello. Hello, thanks for having me. How are you? Good, good. It's good to have you back on the show. Yes, thank you. I think it's what we were, I was on probably five years ago or something. Probably, yeah. Wow. Yeah, I know you were doing um, the show Rescue Me. That's right. And then you came out with your first single. Yes. And that was the last time. You know, that might have been 2009, I think that was. Yeah, around 2009, 2010. Yeah, that was a while ago. Why? How have you guys been? We, I've been good. How have you been? <laughs> what have you been up to? I've been good. I'm, uh, well, right now, today, I'm actually, I'm here in Los Angeles, and I'm packing to get back home to the east tomorrow. I'm heading to New York for the holidays, so excited about that, but uh, also prepared to hit some pretty cold weather over there, huh? You have no idea. I just heard that there's going to be a snowstorm between, like, Friday and Sunday. No way. Yeah. yeah. It's funny, like, out here, literally, it drops, like, this time of year, like, the, their cold spells, it hits, like, 50, and everyone's freezing. Um, it's it's really funny. But uh, it has been a little unusually cold, even for here, like, the past week. But I'm looking forward to hitting some cold weather, getting back, and I'm coming back out here at the end of uh, after New Year's, so. Oh, it won't nice. Be, yeah, it won't be too hard to... Uh, I'll know that I'm only dealing with the cold weather for a few weeks back home, at least. Yeah. Now, New York, your home is New York City for you, right? Yeah, yeah, it is. Uh, also, I spent a lot of time in Connecticut, about an hour north of, of Manhattan. But, yeah, I've been in New York for a long time. I love it there. What part of Connecticut? You know, uh, uh, like Litch- the w- western part of Connecticut, Litchfield County, Danbury area in there. Oh, yeah. Danbury is only about 40 minutes from us. No way. Well, yeah. then, hey, next time I have to come in live if I'm around, right? You do, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, totally. Yeah, so so things have been good for me. I've been staying really busy out here, and uh, it's good. It's all good. Good. Now, you have a new EP coming out. Yes, I do. That's really exciting. How long did it take you to create the EP and record? Yeah, well, basically, I've been, um, I've been writing... Uh, new songs over the course of the last year and uh, my manager and I have sort of been weeding through kind of what we wanted to release at this time Um, and uh, we're we're releasing the tracks um, on my Facebook page for free just uh, maybe one every few weeks and um, sort of getting it out that way but uh, so I've been writing over the last year and and I'm really happy and proud of what uh, what, what sounds we're coming out with now so um, we recorded we recorded uh, about in September out here in Los Angeles and uh, basically they're just ready to go now so we're getting them out there so you recorded the whole entire EP in September yeah took one month yeah, yeah, you know, with the, um, it, we actually probably took us about, you know, the, the process went like this, you know, write the songs, make demos. So we made demo tracks, which took a while. And basically we know exactly, you know, what, uh, what, where our sound is, what we're doing, and, and how the form of the song. And basically all the instruments are pretty much laid down, but in just in a rough manner, like maybe the drums are played on like a keyboard track. I collaborated with some amazing artists on this as well. So we made the, we made a bunch of demos and then we just went into the studio and we recorded five, five tracks. Just, uh, had the drummer goes in one day, bangs out all his drum stuff and uh, on all five tracks and then we build it from there. Then the bass goes in, does that and then a the, uh, bunch of layers of guitars and vocals. So that's basically how we did it. We even have some keys in this one too, some really good modern sounds. Oh, good. You really yeah. have its own path. Yeah, it's been it's been something I've been doing for a while, and you know, I'm always learning and, and growing from the process and learning a lot from the people who I work with as well. And as I said, I really worked with some great people on, on getting this done. So um, I'm so for you to hear them. Uh, I don't know, I have a single called Lost Cause that we just released a few weeks ago, and then yeah. I, I, uh, I don't know if you've heard it yet, but I'm so I think, because you've heard my old stuff too, and I think this stuff is really... Um, 
really developed a lot. I sort of honed my sound and, you know, exactly what message that I wanted to give. And, and this, I think you always develop and, and progress as, as an artist, musician, actor, whatever f- form of art you're doing. And you, you uh, I, th- I feel, really feel like I, I'm finding my niche with this, so with, yeah. with my sound. So I'm really... Uh, I'm really pleased with what we've gotten, so I hope people who listen to it are are and taking on a bit of a journey with it. Yeah, I, I did hear it, and I like it a lot. And uh, I was excited to hear from you that it premiered on Sirius XM. Yes, it did. It was so awesome. Thanks. And uh, Magnetic Heart just premiered with Lance Bass on his show. Yes, yes. That is yeah, awesome. Uh, Really awesome, yeah. I show Lost Cause a few weeks ago on Wake Up with Taylor, and uh, a couple days ago, Magnetic Heart on Sirius XM. Yeah, Lance Bass, what an awesome guy! He's so nice. I would love to uh, meet him. He just yeah, seems he, so down to earth. He's so down to earth, like such a great guy. Really, really, as you said, I mean, just a a guy who's accomplished so much and has seen so many things, but. You know, when it came down to it, he was just a normal guy and like, yeah, uh, yeah very, very gracious and, and nice. It was awesome. Yeah, he seems really cool. Yeah, it was, he's really cool. Yeah, and uh, you have a new upcoming film soon that's coming out um, next year, which is around the corner. Yes, right around the corner. I think it's going to be released by. Early to mid next year, I'd say like mid 2014. Um, it's called The Last Nights, and uh, it's it's a basically like a fantasy piece set in a medieval esque fantasy sort of time period, and it's basically about a bunch of guys who are fighting for honor and loyalty. And uh, the movie is starring uh, Clive Owen and Morgan Freeman. And um, I was in Prague filming for about three to four months of uh, late 2012 into 2013. So um, we wrapped on that probably about eight months ago or so. And, um, yeah, they're just editing, cutting it together. And um, I think, as I said, it's, gonna, it's definitely going to come out in 2014. I'm not sure exactly when at this point. Uh-huh. Well, let me know because I want to see it. Yeah, you're, I think you're going to like it. It was so fun, like horses and fighting and castles and all that kind of stuff. It was I, I was fortunate enough to really get some great training and um and working with those guys was unbelievable. And I also got to ride a huge Parisian black stallion in the film. So it was pretty awesome. Oh awesome. Where did you film it? Prague. We filmed in Prague. Oh. Where's that? Yeah. Uh, middle uh, middle of Europe, basically. It's, uh, you know, close to Germany. Um, it uh, was a beautiful, gorgeous city that's basically like uh, it's Czechoslovakia, but it's basically a beautiful city that's kind of like a, uh, a, a movie set in itself, you know, the way the city is. It just doesn't even seem real. It was just so gorgeous. Yeah. I've been to Germany. Oh, um, yeah? Yeah, once. My cousin was in the military, and she just recently retired after 24 years. Wow. She got married in a castle. Really? In Germany, yeah. Oh, my God. How was that amazing? It was beautiful. What a, Yeah, that was the coolest thing about it. I mean, Prague, as I told you, is what a gorgeous city. Yeah. But, you know, it was pretty awesome. Like, we were able to go outside of the city itself. Uh, you know, an hour, two hours out, three hours out to film at all these different locations where there actually were real castles. And uh, so I got to see a lot of it, a lot of uh, of, of the, the country and landscape and, and um, just places that I guess even if as a tourist, you wouldn't really get to see unless you made a real effort to get there. So it was really special. That is awesome. Yeah, I can't sure wait to was. see it. Thanks. Yeah, I'll uh, I'll definitely make sure we keep you posted. I I don't even know if it's like you know to, I'm sure it's Morgan Freeman and Clive Owen, so it should be a pretty big movie. And you know it was just such a fun ride with those. I had a great part, great great experience. Loved the character that I played in the whole thing. So hopefully you'll enjoy it. Yeah, I'm sure I will. But uh, let All me right. know when it comes out, and we'll have you on again to promote it. All right. Thank you. Oh, That's you're welcome. Great. But <laughs> thank you so much for calling in today. Yeah, it's my pleasure. Thanks for having me and uh, listening to my music and um, and sharing your time with me. Oh, you're welcome. And definitely stay in touch. I will. I will uh, hit you up on Facebook. Yes, please do. And then I'll hit you back. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds <laughs> All good. Right. 
Okay, take care. Happy New Year. Happy holidays. Yes, you too. Happy holidays and happy New Year. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. All right, bye.